Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Erlo and Shock, back at it again with Brawl Stars. So for today's video, I will be talking about my personal opinion on what Supercell and Brawl Stars lacks big time. Now, this is my personal opinion. Just take that. Um, don't hate me in the comments. It's just my personal opinion. And if you have a different opinion, well, that's cool. Just I would like to share this and on ways how they can fix it because... Supercell needs, Supercell, Brawl Stars needs a lot of fixing. Now, this, the main word of this video is care, which <laughs> Supercell lacks big time. They do not show care. Now, it's a certain extent where they, they bring up free stuff or they make things cheaper or something that really shows that they care for the community or they listen to the community, but rather on the other side, they... Um, which some people requested to buff Shelly. They did buff Shelly, but they buffed Bo. No one asked for a Bo buff. People want Mortis poker buffs. And they want Pam and Leon. Well, I'm not so much Leon, but Pam nerfs. I've heard a few complaints about Pam. Now, poker is a horrible brawler. When, say, for example, BB and Pam are great brawlers. Now, and also Bo. Bo was extremely balanced. His landmines you could bait, but if not, then not only whatever you're doing gets cancelled, you get hit, stopped, and also you take a lot of damage. But, of course, if you're um, be able to bait them, then they're not that useful, but it's good to block off, er block off areas so that people can't go there and you make sure that they know that. Now, a big problem is they buffed Bo. Now, they no one really asked to buff Bo. That's, like, a big issue in the game. And another thing is, well, just, that's the first thing, okay? They do not really listen to the community when it comes to balance-wise. But another problem is legendaries. So, I actually made a video on this before, but it didn't really save, so that kind of sucked. And then I tried again and again, it wouldn't save. So, big problem are legendaries. You find a noob that puts in barely any effort. And they get a legendary straight away. They find that they dislike the game and then quit. And not only it's very annoying because you may think, well, it's a waste of legendary. But think about infinite legendaries. Um, there's not just a limit that's split between the community. But it's very annoying when a lot of time low player brawls player low players have more legendaries or better brawlers now what what i mean by better is my only mythic is mortis when sometimes i see noobs with spike gene and frank and they only have 1k trophies and i'm it, it's very discouraging and they really need to make it where like if you have 1000 wins on your account now by what i mean is a thousand wins is all up your solo duo and 3v3 victories then you're going to get a random legendary or a legendary of your choice because it's it's very very discouraging that a lot of people that dedicate less time to Brawl Stars, which is cool. You can dedicate as little time as you want, but it's not encouraging when they get the legendaries, when other people don't. And the problem is, legendaries is a big thing. You can pay money and get legendaries, or you can grind and get legendaries, just it'll take a lot longer. But for noobs, it's kind of the other way around. You can spend money and a lot of the time get nothing, but then just open up a box and get legendaries. That's what I find that seems to happen a lot. And legendaries is not just like a thing, oh, you know, I like legendaries, Spike is cool, he throws the ball that slits into five crows, poisons them, and Leon goes invisible. That's a big thing. That's 500 trophies at a level one brawler. That is a big thing. Tick, I struggle to grind Tick. Tick is the worst brawler in the game, in my eyes, because he's just so bad. Just, he can barely stop anyone from going to him. He's annoying, bro, don't get me wrong. But he can't really kill. He can just annoy you. Kind of like Crow, except for a teamer. When he teams, that's where he gets very toxic. But it's not really, like, a natural thing in Brawl Stars. Teaming isn't, wasn't supposed to be there. It just happens. Now, legendaries. Big things. Spike is so good for so many different things. Crow is so, so good for so many different things. And you can use them in so many different games. Like, you can use Spike and Gem Grab to slow people down. You can use Spike and Brawl Ball to slow people down. You can put... You can use him in Heist. I wouldn't suggest it. I suggest it. Unless you're, you have less trophies just because people don't defend as much. And you can get right in front of the um, Heist turret. Turret. Heist tower. 
and you can do a lot of damage, but I wouldn't really suggest it, depending on how many trophies Spike has. But then you could do, like, Siege and slow people down. Then there's Crow. Crow is good for every single game mode, in my eyes, because of that chip damage. He can just keep on doing damage, he has a small hitbox, he has a lit on the uh the bit on the less hp but he's very hard to snipe because he has a smaller hitbox and also he can dash which can be very annoying because he can throw a whole lot of daggers and harm you and destroy you especially when he has an energy drink because he can just dash to you and wreck you very very fast the only weakness is him close range sometimes depending what brawler he's versus in close range because problem is he doesn't have much hp but he has a small hitbox and he's very fast so he's good for far distance and sometimes good distance and sometimes keep that in mind just sometimes okay so he's extremely good for uh, most game modes i wouldn't really suggest it on heist siege not so much brawl ball good as a brawl um if you can get good far trick shots or just far shots and hit the score He's a good brawl car uh, ball carrier and also in um, gem grab he's good because people can chip them and then you can uh, poison them and then they won't be able to attack. Sorry, heal. Like, it's a big issue. But honestly, it's just crazy unique thing. It's cool, but it's really annoying when you verse him and that's what makes him that legendary, that person that you don't want to verse, you know. Then there's Leon. Leon can go invisible and there's so many different techniques you can use this. Now he is really good but he does require a bit more on the skill side because he does a lot of damage but you need to make sure you don't go for Shelly and Bull because they can one shot you or Brock. A lot of Leons, whenever I'm using Brock, a lot and a lot of Leons just go after me and then you can spam faster than them because Leon has to throw all four blades to deal damage. But Brock can just shoot three very, very fast and he can wreck them. So Leon definitely does have his weaknesses, just a bit more on the confusing side, such as Brock or Piper wise, because if he goes invisible, Piper can quickly dash away. So there's a few balls that he does have a weakness and also Poker and Pam because they can find where he is when he's invisible. But if you're versing the right brawl at the right time and you're invisible, it is so easy to kill them. Very easy to kill them. Very, very easy. Because you can just go right up to them and throw blades. But at the same time, that's not the most common thing out there. Especially that people team up on Leon's a lot. So, I do feel bad for Leon players at a certain extent. Because they get teamed up on a lot. And I am going to confess, I have teamed up against Leon's sometimes. I don't do that much. But I have done it before. And it would be pretty tough for a Leon. Especially when he goes invisible. And there's four Dynamikes just completely destroying him and he can't heal now of course that's where his alternative star power comes in hand but that's very different sorry so basically legendaries is a big thing in brawl stars as you can tell the first sorry the like last three minutes i've just been talking on how useful they are so it's a big thing that they need to make sure that if someone that dedicates a long time a lot of time and effort gets it now they don't really show care that of the game basically just show the money back which is cool but it doesn't really hurt to just give dedicated players a legendary because when you see a low lower player um a less dedicated player get a legendary it is discouraging now you are happy for them to a certain extent but at the same time sometimes deep inside you're just very very salty that they have a legendary and you do not when they do not spend as much time and dedicate as much time and not as good as you which is cool when i see them and they use it wisely and i say oh yo congrats you got leon and then they say yeah i really enjoy using him that's cool but not when someone has like a hundred trophies on him and they've had it for ages that's not fun at all because basically just they're not really um taking advantage of such a cool brawler which legendaries are made to be unique it's so a mythics like mortis dashes terra she like throws that thing that pulls them all together and she can attack mo uh, multiple people and Gene, he just can pull people and it's really, really cool. Now, another big problem is updates. Updates is a big, big, big problem. They don't bring out enough updates and they may think, dude, they just brought all these star powers. That's mainly for people that have maxed out the account, which either they've been playing in beta and they've been extremely lucky to have three legendaries and also have maxed out everyone, which is very, very cool. But 
or they just spent money, which is cool. No, no, it's cool, but it's fine. But the thing is, it doesn't really affect most people. It only affected me with Pam and Shelly. So the whole update barely affects a lot of people. Now, it is good to have alternative star powers, but that's a bit of the non-effective side. Now, rather, it is sometimes annoying when you find an old Primo with the new star power and just comes dashing at you, or Piper that they almost do not even run out of ammo. They can just kill everybody if every well anybody with hitting five shots which is like they can spam five shots that's the most that they can do um that is a big issue because last update was tick and that was in july like it's not really that um that impressive how many updates i mean we're almost we're one week away from september and Last was Tick, and Tick is a poor brawler. That guy sucks. They're really, really bad at making uh, making unbalanced sprawls, which is at the same time not a bad thing. Just they need to they need to act on it fast, which is what they're not good at doing. Like for example, Rosa. On the other hand, she was ridiculously overpowered. If All right, we're back. So as I was saying, so Rosa, she was extremely overpowered. Now I thought, poof. First day, I'm going to grind her because within three days, um, she's going to get a nerf. No, it took them like three, two to three weeks. I don't remember exactly, but I remember it took them over two weeks, which is a big problem. Everybody hated it. No one liked Rosa at all, which was a big problem. I mean, you may be like, dude, I love using Rosa. It was so cool. At the time, I got, I got so many kills. But that's kind of a lie because everybody used Rosa. If everybody used Rosa, you can't really kill Rosa unless you have... An extra minute in your life to just kill another Rosa because it took forever. So it's a big thing. They did nerf her, but Tick hasn't really gotten a buff or a nerf, which he needs a buff, a big buff, like a really big buff to actually be good. But at the same time, it's good that he's bad because he's a thrower and throws normally team and it kind of ruins the game. But lately, I haven't really seen many teamers, so that doesn't really like um, relate to that point. But another thing is BB. BB. Has she came out? She was a pretty good brawler. She was pretty balanced. Now people may think that she was bad because she has very short range, but she does do a lot of damage, and also she does push people, and also her star powers are extremely good. So she's a quite balanced brawler. Now I give props to Supercell for that. But Carl, it took them forever to actually change Carl. It really did. They they don't act on it fast enough, and they don't bring enough updates. Which is cool if you're trying to prepare for something big, but then at the same time, that's not that cool. Because star points were completely dumb, because basically just every six, for me it was every six boxes, you get two weeks for almost just congratulations on your progress. Progress, here you go. But now it's like congratulations on your progress, you get 20 star points that you're not going to use at all. Because if you just look over here... 10k i need 10k so that's a long time i'm probably gonna quit between then that's gonna be like two years until i can actually use star points as how it's going now now it's actually kind of funny how it's got all three bros bro skins but the problem is they just switched that like people do want skins free players do want skins yeah that's the thing but they want to spend their gems on it they don't want actual like free players do not have all the time in the world to just grind, grind, grind. At the end of the day, you don't just, um, you can't just keep on grinding and get 50 boxes in one day. That's actually not how it works. Kind of wish it was, and they should probably do that, but that's not how it works. It's basically, you can spend three hours playing straight and only get two boxes. However, you can play five minutes and get two boxes because you just get the star points. Now, that's a thing. A lot of people spend time on it because they enjoy playing it, but then they don't get legendaries because they don't have high trophies. Now, yeah, I, it's kind of worth complaining. Like, I mean, it's kind of reasonable to complain that people don't have legendaries when they have tons of trophies, but that just means that they spend more time on it, and when they don't have enough star points, sorry, no, they don't have enough tokens to get because they've already gotten all of them, then they're just playing more, which, I mean, at the end of the day... That's just you playing extra, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, you can do that, sure. But it's a problem because then they complain. Now, it is to a certain extent okay because you have more trophies. But at the end of the day, it's not like you've been playing since the start or something. And 
now you don't have a legendary because you spend because you spend three hours every single day playing, which you can if you want, but you're getting all the tokens, and every single time there's twenty tokens, boom, you get them straight away. Which they do need to increase the tokens, but at the same time, people do complain a little bit too much. Now, Supercell, I'll give it to them. They really do bring good brawlers and really unique brawls, which makes it more fresh. Like, if they were to bring out Bull in a month, no one really wants Bull. Like, he's good as one of the star brawlers, but he's not good as a new brawler because he barely is unique. But on the other hand, Tick, he literally throws landmines. I know that most people don't like him, but some people do because it's very, very unique. Now, that's a cool part about Brawl Stars. They make a lot of unique uh, brawlers, which can a lot of time whenever you get a new brawler, it makes things really fun because it's a new experience. Like, for example, if you were to get Terra, well, then you it's like a whole new experience because you can use them in Brawl Ball, you can get more Brawl Ball victories, and then you can play something new or whatever. Because normally, I don't play Siege, but if I were to get a good Siege player, well, then it changed things up a bit. Um, such as Gene or Spike. Spike is good for Siege. Not the best, but he's good for it. Now, another thing is that they really could change is Brock. Brock's alternative star power is really dumb. I'm sorry. He, this is the description. Rocket number four. Brock loads a fourth rocket into his launcher, increases his ammo captivity, which is cool. And discarding. All right, well, we're back. Anyway, just the point about Brock is, the problem is, it's, they're basically saying like he's been keeping the fourth rocket and now he brings it. Dude, his weapon has a fourth rocket. It's not like once, it's not like he just modifies it or something. He originally had, his weapon originally has four. I'm sorry, but if I were versing him in like in a battlefield real life and I saw him only shooting three when he has four and he reloads, I think that's kind of a bit dumb and they really need to change that. I know that people did complain a lot that he has four rockets but he only shoots three and they did fix that but not in the right way like it's cool for players that get star powers like instantly because they don't open up their boxes but at the same time it doesn't really make sense because it says like he's been keeping it um like hidden and whatever and then he decides to reveal it well that's kind of dumb because that means that he's basically just getting less wins because he's deciding to keeping it. Like, it doesn't really make sense. I understand that they're trying to make it fair so that he has uh, four ammo once you get the star power. And then you can't have basically two star powers because it's an extra thing. But there's a simple fix. Just make him either do less damage or it takes longer to reload and it makes sense. It's like a pretty simple fix. Now, I understand it would take them a bit of time to do that. But the star power doesn't really make sense. Like, they're basically saying he was keeping it from his opponents, so basically it's getting less victories on purpose. That needs a fix, a big fix. Now, for the final thing, is ticketed events. Now, ticketed events are dumb, okay? Basically, I understand, I understand the concept. It's really cool, I understand how they do it. It really is exciting on the weekends, but why do they make it where you need tickets? Now, I understand you need tickets and then you get boxes. You may think, oh, dude, that means you could just get infinite boxes. Well, there's a simple fix that could make it fun. If a friend has um, used all their tickets and then you have no tickets and you can't play an extra game, well, that sucks. But instead, they should make it where you just play. You don't, if you have zero tickets, you just bet zero tickets and you can play. And then you just don't gain anything, you can just play for the fun of it. Or you can get like a little XP like you do with every single other game mode. Now you may think, well then that means in big game people try to become the big boss and then and then just because they're not the big boss then they just won't play, which has happened before and it is a bit triggering, but there's once again a simple fix. They just make it where if you bet 20 to 10 tickets, you verse people that bet 20 to 10 tickets. If they bet no tickets, then they verse no ticketed betting people so that it's fair now it is kind of it will take longer to find a match but it's worth the sacrifice because you're versing people that has 
that are as dedicated as you and want the highest score and they take it very seriously because they want as many tokens as possible because they're betting more tickets now that is gonna wrap it up for today's video that's just my thoughts on brawl stars and how they could make it a bit better and seriously brock does need um a big difference or maybe they could make it where he automatically has it but he can't equip a star power or something or like you like it's an automatic star power and you like unequip it for a different one i don't know i just i think it's a bit dumb that he's like he's kept it hidden so basically he's gone more losses on purpose i think that's just a bit dumb and they could change that up but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video i hope you did enjoy comment down below what your thoughts are on a specific um topic on this video that you thought that could be changed up if you think you have a good idea for it i would love to hear your input on it and your thoughts so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video i hope you did enjoy have